In this video, we will show you how to simplify agarose gel electrophoresis and analysis using the Invitrogen E-Gel PowerSnap electrophoresis system. We will now demonstrate the E-Gel CloneWell 2 agarose gel run. The E-Gel CloneWell 2 gel contains two rows of sample wells. Load your samples into the top row and collect the purified fragments as they pass into the bottom row collection wells. Before run, prepare all your samples in 1x sample loading buffer provided with the gel. Remove the e-gel from the package and remove the combs. Insert e-gel into the device and fix cassette by pressing lightly. Pre-fill all wells with 50 microliters of deionized water. Load 25 microliters of prepared sample bottom-up into pre-filled loading wells. Load 25 microliters of E-Gel 1 Kilobase Plus Express DNA Ladder, designed exclusively for E-Gel clone well gels. Run the E-Gel clone well protocol. Observe as the bands of interest migrates and approaches the recovery well. Pause the gel when the band of interest reaches reference line indicated on the second row of recovery wells. Add 40 microliters of water to recovery wells. Resume the run and carefully observe as the band of interest enters the recovery well. Stop the gel and recover the sample with a pipette. Don't worry if you miss the band of interest. Use reverse protocol to guide the band back into recovery well if needed. Your sample is ready for use in downstream cloning workflow. Invitrogen E-Gel PowerSnap Electrophoresis System. Simplify analysis. Expand possibilities.